This is what your audio sounds like on a pair of speakers. And this is what your audio sounds like on a pair of headphones. Can you hear the difference? If you can't, that's because you're not using headphones. You're probably driving or vacuuming right now. The Funny Flower Hour would like to recommend that you listen to this episode on a pair of quality headphones in order to fully immerse yourself in our new 3D audio experience. And if you don't own a pair of headphones, please contact the Funny Flower Hour at gmail.com. And we'll send you a nickel. Thank you for listening, and enjoy the show. Up next, Dating During the Epidemic, where we show you how to have foreplay from the inside of a hazmat suit. Live from KTHC Studios, it's... The Funny Flower Hour. Butter Toast, Sergeant Sunflower! Funny Flowers, how are we feeling in the studio today? It's September 1st. The days are finally feeling a little shorter. The leaves are beginning to change colors. The air is a little more crisp. And you know what that means. It's flu season. <coughs> flu season is almost here. I know, I know, none of us want to get the flu. And that's why your old pal, Sergeant Sunflower, is going to get the first ever live on radio doctor visit. <laughs> That's right, folks, a real, genuine doctor checkup here, live and on the air. Tell them what that means, announcer. Sergeant Sunflower's checkup will include a heart rate check, a blood pressure check, a prostate check, and so much more, all live, here, and on the air. The first of its kind. Never before heard on radio. And can you guess why Sergeant Sunflower would do something so personal like this on the air? Because while Sergeant Sunflower doesn't have health care, his business expenses are tax deductible. Or at least that's what I heard somewhere once. Hey, let's all listen to this guy. And stay tuned for Sergeant Sunflower's live on the air medical examination after this. <laughs> Greetings and welcome to another edition of Safety Tips from local celebrity Safety Sam. Hello, kids. This week, we're going to talk about flu season and how you can help the rest of your community. From now on, nobody wants you licking envelopes. Nobody wants you licking anything. You are a disgusting person. So the next time you're about to mail something, before you slap your saliva on anything, just dip it in the toilet. 
give it a quick swish. Here I go. And off you go. Don't forget the stamp. Oops. People used to enjoy physical proximity. We also used to enjoy spanking our chickens if they didn't lay eggs fast enough. <laughs> Nowadays, it's best for everyone to keep a healthy distance. If you want to keep your community safe, you need to keep them as far away from you as possible. Try greeting your neighbors more like this. Hi, Bob. How's it? Go fuck yourself. I just wanted to say, I sodomize myself in your garden beneath the passing of each new moon. Borat bikinis. Scientology sweatbands. Single strap crop tops. These things say, stay away from me. I look like Tarzan. And when you need a secret weapon, there's always unwanted political discourse. I just voted for a rainbow holding a gun. Who wants to fight me? And lastly, you used to touch your toilet handle every time you flushed. That's disgusting. Gross. Gross. Not anymore. Nowadays, if it's yellow, be mellow. And if it's brown, then get out of town. Oh my god, who left this? And washing with soap? Forget about it. People touch that after they flush their toilets. Gross. Gross. Thank you for listening, and remember to be extra safe this flu season. Not gross. And now, a lesson inside our local comedy club's weekly open mic night. Let's see what they're laughing at now. I tried to order a hot and ready pizza from Little Caesars the other day. They told me, that'll be six minutes. And I said, hey, it's called a hot and ready. Not a hot and wait six minutes for you to take your sweet fucking time making me a pizza. You know, some people wonder why we still check in with that comedy club. And I'm one of those people. Here's your sponsors. And tonight's sponsors are... Public Transit. If you had better options, you wouldn't be here. And Bicycles. Because anything's better than the bus. And now a word from our sponsor. And now a message from Corona Beer. Look, we've been in your home and in your fiestas for years. But we understand that our name is no longer welcoming. The coronavirus has been a travesty. You have spoken out and your voices have been heard. And so we are changing the name of our beloved Corona Beer out of respect for those that find the name to be challenging or offensive. And while we're at it, we are also changing the names of our following products. Michael Vick Dog Collars Bruce Jenner Penis Enhancements Kim Jong Raccoon The Cartoon You see where this is going. 9-11 Memorial Celebration Candles, Muhammad Face Painting Kit, and so many more. We are very, very sorry. Brought to you by Wuhan Wild Beer. Come down with a case of cold, refreshing Wuhan Wild Beer today. Funny flowers, I missed them last month at the fair. Please welcome some of the funniest flowers I know, the Peach Pals.
Time for the Peach Pals. Sorry again about the fairs, guys. I know, that's the pits. See what I did there? All right, folks. Now the moment you've been waiting for. Are you ready for the first ever live on the radio medical examination? <coughs> okay, Doc. What are you going to check up first? Uh, well, your heart, your heart is pumping. How about my blood pressure? Uh, it seems to be everywhere. Okay, what's next? Well, now I need to take a quick peek into your mouth, open wide, and I'm just gonna... Well, Doc, I don't think that flu shot's going to be necessary. Apparently, I'm taking all of my vaccines orally this year. Straight to the face. Have a swell night, everybody. Find this flat. Oh, is Doug's dad? Yeah, well, he sneezed in my fucking mouth. Did he have glasses when he came in today? Attention, funny flowers. Don't forget to check out funnyflowerhour.com for any music and a teaser of next week's episode. And... Uh, and don't forget, don't forget it. You must, you must remember that there's something you need to do. Flu shots. Flu shots. Jesus Christ, you're an awful doctor. Can you give me a ride home? They took my keys. They took your keys because you're too old to drive, but they let you keep your medical license? No. Those kids outside, 
I thought they were valet. Mm, that's actually very sad. Come on, I'll give you a ride home. I think Doug's got my live dead album anyway. Who? Your son, Doug. Holy smokes, how do you forget that? Ow! Huh? <gasps> Quit poking me with that fucking needle. I probably got three shots by now. Although, maybe they'll all battle it out inside of me, you know? And then just when things are wrapping up, I'll swoop in to finish off the winner while he's still weak. And then I'll have the strength of three germ armies. Uh, I wanna go home. Yeah, you said that.